Congressman Lewis made it his life's work to combat voter suppression and to ensure representation for all Americans. 11 Alive She Knew Her shows us how his legacy and his mission will go on. We're marching today to dramatize to the nation. Long before joining the halls of Congress, John Lewis was on the front lines combating voter suppression. Selma, people could not register to vote simply because of the color of their skin. Only 2.1% of blacks were registered to vote. The Alabama native was attacked by state troopers during the 1965 march from Selma to Montgomery during what became known as Bloody Sunday. The images from that day paved the way for President Lyndon Johnson to sign the Voting Rights Act into law. The CEO of the New Georgia Project, a nonpartisan voter registration group in Georgia, credits the congressman with that victory. He has laid the groundwork uh, for us to build the Georgia of our dreams uh, and to build the country of our dreams. But 55 years later, the fight for the right to vote is raging on. In 2013, the Supreme Court dismissed a provision of the Voting Rights Act requiring states like Georgia to get changes to polling locations approved. Just last month, Congressman Lewis wrote a letter to the U.S. Attorney General begging. The record is clear. A rampant war is being waged against minorities voting rights in my home state of Georgia and across the nation. I urge you to correct course and take action. Time is of the essence to preserve the integrity and promises of our democracy. However, Ufot says even though Congressman Lewis won't be here to help fight for access during the November elections, he prepared the next generation of leaders to build on his work. And the beauty of his leadership style is that it was, um, you know, he brought people in, that it was inclusive. And so there are a lot of us who see this as our mission, who see this as our work. If you believe in something, you should speak up and you should fight for it. 